Welcome back to another edition of Talk Nerdy to Me, filmed at Zia Comic Studios in beautiful downtown Las Cruces. Have another unboxing for you today. This one I'm kind of excited about. Bam! One of my favorite uh, Tarantino movies. Kill Bill, Volume 1. I liked all the volumes, but uh, yeah, Volume 1 is what this action figure is taken from. We have a little viewing window here. So we'll show you. Bam! There she is. Beatrice Kid. Oh. Played by Uma Thurman. Oh, six scale. This one has tons of accessories. Wow. And uh, you probably couldn't read this saying in here. It says, those of you lucky enough to have your lives, take them with you. However, leave the limbs you've lost. They belong to me now. That's when she was fighting the crazy eight. And, uh... Yeah, she hacked off more than one person's appendages. Um, Crazy Eight, she went through those pretty easily. So I'd, I'd like to see other six scale figures from uh, that movie to pose them together in a diorama. That would be amazing. So let's see what we got here. We're going to take the top off. Oh goodness! Look at that. That you can't. I don't know if you can tell, but that's actual fabric on her clothes. Though that is not molded clothing. Oh look, they put a bag over her face. They're trying to suffocate her. Here, Beatrice. We don't want that. Oh my gosh, that's real. That's real hair. Well, I mean, and by it might not be real hair. It might be synthetic hair, but it's not molded hair it's actual strands wow they probably had to put that in individually on her face uh looking at the face this is not hot toys this is a uh, another company star ace yeah they they got close it looks more like madonna than uma thurman let me just do a don't know if you guys can see. If not, we'll try to zoom in on that if we can. Yeah, it's a little disappointed with the face, but let's see if they make up for it with accessories. Like I said, there are a literal ton. Not literally, it doesn't really weigh a ton. It's actually figuratively. I hate when people do that, so I won't do it either. Okay, the base, hollow plastic. I, I'm not too happy with that either. Usually on a base, I want something with some weight to it because that's what's going to be holding the action figure solid. You want, you want a good, solid, heavy base. Okay, it looks like, yeah, it's going to be one of those waste clamp uh, type bases where it comes up and holds her around her waist so it's stands up semi independently I guess you could say but not really <laughs> I will give them one thing they do packages really really well that tape does not want to give okay we got the base. Uh, you can see it pops right into the bottom right here. And when they say by the waist, man, that how high can I go? I'd rather it be under like maybe her arms or something, but a lot of times it's just going to depend on where you want her held at. So yeah, it can go around the, her waist. This only goes up so high. So yeah, we're not going to use that, but that's how it works. And then these will come up and hold her in place. It is kind of nice. They branded the base Kill Bill. But like I said, if you can hear this, hollow plastic, not happy. Okay, there's supposedly 30 points of articulation. Let's see, 
This, of course, is her non-bloody uh, <laughs> before she fought those guys. Okay, bends at the knee, bends at the ankle, left, right, up, and down. Bends at the, well, her legs move at the, the hip joint. Okay, she doesn't bend forward at the hip, which is kind of typical action figures. Shoulder, feels like shoulder just goes forward and back. I can't, I don't want to pull it out because so I don't feel like giving anything there. Bends at the elbow. And let's see about the head. Yes, the heads are so also articulated left and right. And to a small extent, forward and back. I mean, very small extent. Uh, wrist, yeah, bends at the wrist. So, I mean, there's a lot of articulation. And, uh, of course, uh, she is not dressed under there. So, anyway, we're not going to be perverted and do anything like that. Shoes come off? No, no, no shoes come off. So, let's see what we have for accessories. got the katana Hanzo. I will let me put my glass. I wonder if this says anything on the blade here. Uh, there's some uh, I don't know what language it is. Scrolling. It looks like some type of uh, Asian type language up by the, the hilt. Nice scabbard. Is the scabbard open? Yes, yeah, so you can actually Place the sword in the scabbard. That's nice. Uh, looks like these sets of hands are open. But you do have a big, wide, open grip hand. I mean, so much so that it looks kind of kind of deformed even. I'm not sure I like that, but uh, the scabbard fits in there really easily. This is definitely not the sword holding hands. And she's got a more closed fisted hand. That's yeah, that's gonna be for the sword. So she can it definitely holds the sword really nice. Little bit of wiggle room, but you don't want it to be stuck in there tight. Get in there. Yeah, so she can hold it either hand, it looks like. So, those are cool, but here, I saved the coolest part to last. If you remember when she fought the, I believe it was Daryl Hannah character. And you know, Paime snatched her eye, right? And so did Beatrice. I will try to get a close-up picture of that later. Uh, you can have her... Holding the eyeball that <laughs> she snatched. When she snatched it up out of what's her name's face. Yeah, and that kind of fits right there too. Wow. Okay, that that I like. I think I would pose her with the eyeball. Just because that is wow, that is so cool. Yeah, because when she snatched her eyeball, she had none left. You remember, right? She was the Daryl Hannah character had the uh um eye patch on because uh, before she got all mad and <laughs> poisoned Paime she mouthed off and uh, just like, just as promised he snatched her freaking eyeball right out of her head okay this now I, now I understand why she has the uh, the big open handed uh, one I told you where it was so big it didn't look quite right because she's also got the the board with the nails in it. And yep, perfect fit. So she also has the board with the nails in it that she can use as a weapon. Wow. Okay, now these hands make much more sense. I like it. I, I, I'm, I like it a lot. Um, let's just see how hard it is to swap out on these hands should just be, yeah, just pops right off, ball joint. You can, I don't know how well you can see this 
ball joint right here with a peg at the end for the hand. And we can just pop in a new hand. And then she can be holding that big old stick and beating people up. So there you have it. Yeah, that's Beatrix Kiddo from Kill Bill, Volume 1. Uh, overall, I'm happy with the articulation. I'm happy with the extra pieces. The eyeball is cool. The, the stick with the nails is cool. Uh, I love that they actually used the actual clothing cloth. I mean, these are actual like sweatpant material. Um, she's got a zipper on this. Let's see if the zipper actually actually zips. That would be amazing. But it looks like a workable zipper. I'm just I have big fat fingers and I can't quite get a good grip on it. And I don't want to really force anything. Oh, <gasps> it does. It does actually zip up and down. That is I like that that detail. Brill hair, that detail's amazing also. Um, the only downfall I have on this is is the face. They just they're missing something. I think it's in the eyes. Because everything else kind of looks spot on. The nose, the mouth, but when I uncover the eyes, those just aren't her eyes. It, those aren't Uma Thurman's eyes. It makes it look more like Madonna. I, I think they needed to do Uma Thurman's eyes are more deep set. It uh, looks like she's got more dark around her eyes in the picture. Probably from fighting and all day. But anyway, overall, not a bad, not a bad figure. Uh, if you can overlook the fact that her face isn't quite right, you won't have any problems. All the rest of the details on it, amazing. Freaking amazing. Uh, I would like uh, Star Ace. Next time, how about a heavier, maybe a solid piece of plastic for the base? This is really kind of flimsy, especially when the doll is heavier than the base. So if you start doing a lot of stuff with her with her hands up or anything, she might get top heavy and start to lean. I, yeah, not so much on that. Oh, another little thing I just noticed. I just looked on the bottom of her shoes on the tread. Can you read that? If you can't, I'll spell it out. It's F-U, F-U-C-K-U on the bottom of her shoes. So every time she walks, she leaves those, uh, those imprints. Wow. Okay. Not bad. Oh, you know what? What I told you was looked like Asian writing on the hilt. It is actually supposed to be looking at the box. They show the sword with a, is it a Paiao or? I don't, it's not a dragon, it's one of the lions or dogs, or I think it's called a Piao or Paiao, Piao. Somebody can tell me down below, I'm probably mispronouncing it. Uh, yeah, not bad, not bad, it's a, it's a good, uh, good try. I think the only thing that's really throwing me off is the face. I can overlook the base because you know you can drill into the base and pour something in there to to weigh it down. But the face is kind of throwing me off. But overall, it makes up for it in accessories: the eyeball, the sword, the big, big uh, stick with the nails in it. Not bad. That was Kill Bill, uh, the Bride. Beatrix Potter, uh, Kiddo uh, from Kill Bill Volume 1. She was also in the other volumes too, but she, she had a lot more blood on her in the other volumes. It's a good movie. If you haven't seen it, you should go watch it. And if you have watched it, let me know if you liked it or not. This will be a decent collection. Don't look too close to the face and you'll be okay. The rest of it, it's all right. I don't know if I would recommend buying it, but uh, just because the face is very off-putting. Other than that, like I said, the, the if they made a replacement head for it, that'd be great. You just pop a new head on there. Or if you have a guy, a friend who's an artist, maybe they can fix the eyes up to make it look more like her. 
All right, guys, that was the unboxing for the Kill Bill Volume 1, The Bride. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. It helps us with the metrics so that we can do more videos like this for you guys. If you want to know whenever we pop a new video, hit the bell icon, and it will let you know every time a new one comes up. So, until the next video. Later, nerd. Get nerdy with me. Tell me what game that you get on. Is it card or What kind of class do you play, girl? In an RPG.